This print is titled Saint Jerome Reading in an Italian Landscape and it was made by Rembrandt around 1653. To me it's one of the, my favourite prints in the show because if you look at it, it's just so surreal. It's Rembrandt who's a Dutch artist, has never been to Italy but yet manages to convey this Italian landscape with Italian looking buildings. But they're not really the star of the show of this print. For me, it's really about this lion. So Saint Jerome had a companion, a lion, and the lion is rendered by Rembrandt in dry point technique, which he did very differently from his etching technique by scratching directly into the copper plates. And so you can tell that the lines of the lion's mane are very fuzzy. They're almost uh, velvety. If you look at it, it feels like you can touch them if you rub your finger over the paper, which of course we're not allowed to do. Um, and so dry point lines would ink very thickly. And so that gives it that really rich texture and of course it's perfect to depict an animal's fur and it's a huge contrast with the figure of Saint Jerome. He's done very summarily, very lightly, um, there's only a few outlines, he's barely there so the real star, the real focus point of this print is this lion and if you look at it closer you see there's not even contours, there's no outlines. Rembrandt just managed to define the shape of the animals by parallel hatching of the lines and then adding these fuzzy, velvety um, main um, in dry point lines. What is even more special about this print is that it is actually inscribed by Rembrandt himself. So if you look very carefully in the lower margin, you'll see an inscription in red chalk and it's written in Dutch. It says seven on the plate. And so we know it's in Rembrandt's handwriting, and so it probably implies that this was the seventh impression ever taken from the copper plate. So it's a very early impression, which again testifies to the richness of the dry point line. So that's why we have that strong black mane of the lion coming through.